Here are five strategies to market alcohol and wine online. Number one is bridge pages. AdWords and Facebook do not allow restricted products to be advertised on their platforms. So what you can do is you can create a different brand, an informational brand, create a Facebook page or create a landing page. So for example, if you're selling CBD, what you can do is you can create another brand that says how to calm down your pet, right? And then you say top 10 ways to calm down your pet. And you basically have somebody go to that landing page or go to that Facebook page and they need to enter their email to get that top 10 ways. And guess what the first way is, it's gonna be CBD. So I'm not really pulling them through selling CBD. I'm pulling them from the angle of how to calm down your pet. Number two is content marketing and SEO. This is always the best option. This is going to be your top money maker. If you have a legitimate business and you wanna pull millions of dollars online from selling restricted products, you have to invest in SEO in the intermediate and long term. Number three is influencers. There are a lot of different types of influencers on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, there are minor celebrities that you could reach out to. In that case, you look at the engagement metrics of these influencers on Instagram or YouTube, and they can do a couple of shares and you get a ton of traffic and orders, but you have to pick the right one. Number four is programmatic advertising on platforms like Choosel. This enables you to advertise restricted products. Again, you have to be smart about the targeting, but it's definitely possible. Number five is online PR. Whatever you're doing needs to be newsworthy for this, for it to have any effect or bring traffic to you. For example, if you have a CBD company and you started from scratch and you used your father's farm in Kentucky to be able to do this, if there's a story behind it, then it will have some pull from a PR standpoint. And as a bonus, cold email marketing. You can get an audience of people, you can get a list of people that are most likely interested in buying that restricted product and these lists exist online. There's a specific way to do this cold email marketing so that you don't fall into the spam folder. You definitely need to control your sending IPs and use something like a mailum.io or a mailgun.io. We'll put the resources here. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.